quick round up some avocado. Did you know this Sunday is National Guacamole Day? We have co-owner of Zona Fresca, Tim Dobrowolski, here with some guac and tell us how you're celebrating this weekend. I celebrate Guacamole Day all the time, quite frankly, Tim. So thanks for being here. Fabulous. Well, obviously guacamole we have in the restaurant every day. Every day is guacamole day at Zona <laughs> Fresca. But what I want to do today is I want to show you how to make uh, guacamole, okay. and then we're also going to do a chopped Nepala salad. That, but, you're going to want to watch that, guys. This is going to be really but cool. But since we are making guacamole, guacamole is actually rather simple. Um, the first thing that you need is to make sure you find a nice, ripe Haas avocado. That's a thick, uh, thick skin avocado. Okay. Um, and we're going to do a very traditional old style with yeah. using a molcajete. Molcajete has been around for about 5,000 BC. Okay. And it's made out of basalt stone. It's used to help grind it. Once you have the avocado out, you take it. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do it old style. We're going to take Ooh. some of the garlic, a little salt. Are you going to mash this all up first? That's right. Oh. And then I take a little bit of cilantro. And then I'm going to take a little squeeze of lime juice. Fresh lime juice, right? That's right. Between the salt and the rocks and so forth, we're going to make a paste. And that, what that paste does, it makes the garlic very creamy. And it mixes very, very, very well with the avocado. So you don't have large chunks of garlic. So that that, once that's great. mixed, that's right. Then you take the avocado, you pop it into the molcajete. Mash it up, and then that's, that's what it looks right. like over there, right? I want to get to the salad because uh, okay. this is just really, really cool. Now, the next thing we do is we're going to have do a Nepalese cactus salad. Most people don't know, but Nepalese cactus is edible. It's um, you can actually get it year round because it's a cactus, a Again, very popular cactus. Mexico. I think it's so important to say <laughs> that this is cactus. I didn't know that, so you may know. This is a vegetable, so you're getting the greens in there. This is what it looks like, right? But this is how you, when you buy it, that's what it looks like at first. And then how, how do you kind of wash it down to? Well, basically, what you do is um, the cactus itself has spines on it, of course. Okay. It's a cactus across here. So you, to prep it, what you can do is you want to make sure you cut off all the little spines that's across there. Otherwise, okay. um, what's going to happen is you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna choke on it. Okay. So when you clean it up, you're going to wind up look, with paddles looking like this. Okay. And once the paddles are, are like that, you're going to put them on the grill. Put them on the grill for about uh, three minutes on each side so okay. they turn nice and golden brown like this. Okay? okay. So once that's done, you pull it off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to chop it up. We're going to do a chopped Nepala salad. All right, Tim, you got to put all everything in there. We're running out of time, so okay. just throw it all together. All right, what it looks like. First of all, we're going to uh, put a little bit of lettuce in here. Okay. Um, we're going to put it across the bottom. All right, the lettuce, the dressing. Of course, you have the cactus, That's the avocado. Right. And then we just put all the other ingredients together here. We have, uh, we're going to get some onions. We're going to get some avocado. All right. We're going to get a little cucumber. Cool. And we're going to get some tomatoes. And then, we, of course, we have the chopped napolis. We're going to add a little more dressing across it. All right, Tim, why don't you okay. plate that up for me? As you plate it up, okay. I'm going to tell everybody, Zona Fresca has three locations, by the way, in Fort Lauderdale Plantation and Pompano. For more information, call the numbers on your screen or visit ZonaFresca.com. Remember, National Guacamole Day is September 16th, so enjoy and have that. Look at how that salad looks. It looks delicious, so you could try that as well. Thanks so much for being here, Tim. Thank you so much.